Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Mr. Coffee 14 cup coffee bean grinder. So this grinder retails for about $28. I was able to get it on sale for 17. So there are better grinders out there. You cannot take anything apart. The lid comes off. You can't take any of this out. Um, and once this gets kind of dirty, you're gonna just have to kind of wipe it out. And it only operates while you're pressing the button. So it doesn't have any sort of timer. So if you want fine or coarse ground beans, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to time it yourself. Okay, so let's take a look at the, at the grinder again. It's only gonna operate while you're pressing the button. So you've gotta press it the entire time you want it to grind. And if you want fine, finely ground coffee or coarsely ground coffee, it's gonna depend on how long you hold it. We open it up. Now again, none of this comes apart on the inside. The only thing that comes off is the lid. And again, there's a little arrow here. So you're gonna start at the unlock position and it'll kind of snap to the lock position. And then, it, then it'll operate. If you don't have it right, it won't operate. You have to make sure it is snapped and level all the way across. So again, they call this a blade type grinder. So it does come with a nice manual and the manual talks about how many tablespoons you're gonna put in to, to get ground coffee. So 14 tablespoons of ground beans, that's gonna to equate to about 14 tablespoons. Then on the other side, here's where it talks about the coarse, medium and fine. So again, they're talking about seconds. So if I've got the full 14 um, tablespoons of coffee grounds in there and medium grind, I wanna hold the button for 18 seconds. Okay, so let's put our coffee in there. There's really no measuring lines in there, but I've got 14 tablespoons in this one cup, so it's just below what a one cup measuring cup is. So you can see that's about 14 cups, fills it up right about there. All right, so we're gonna time it. We're gonna put our lid on. Okay, so let's time it. I'm gonna hit start and go. Okay, I'm gonna let up. Okay, so we can see it did a good job. Let's open it up and see how it did. So before you open it, just kind of give it a tamp, get everything off the top here, open this up. You know, I guess you could dump it into the lid, but let's just dump it out. Yeah, some of the stuff does stick in there a little bit. Okay, so it actually did a pretty good job. That should be medium grind and it is pretty well medium grind. Um, I'm pretty impressed with how well it did. Okay, so let's try fine grind. So let's do just half as much. So I just got seven tablespoons in there. So for, let's just call it eight. I'm gonna hold it for 16 seconds. Okay, so let's start it and go. <laughs> and I could hold it longer if I wanted to. It's not really loud either. That's been 20 seconds. Okay, so again, just kind of tamp it a little bit. Take this off. Okay, so now let's compare. So this is the fine grind. So yeah, it is definitely a little finer. It's got some medium ground in there too, but it is definitely finer than the medium grind. So it actually does a really decent job. I just would like to see you know, sometimes if other grinders have that thing that kind of swirls around in there to help you get this stuff out. Getting this stuff out was kind of tricky. And again, there's really no good way of cleaning this. I don't see that this comes apart in any way whatsoever. So you just have to get like a brush and kind of keep that clean. I did think the grinder was powerful and I actually did a pretty good job between uh, fine and medium. You know, it's gonna be mainly for a medium ground coffee for like a normal drip coffee maker. So if there's any other coffee grinders you'd like to see, please leave them in the description below. And if you could, please like and subscribe.